we're at Omeru, and this area was underwater about 30 to 35 million years ago. And at that time, in about 100 meters water depth, there were volcanoes in this area erupting uh, under the ocean. The rocks here show us a little bit of the story of those volcanic eruptions. So when we look at these cliffs, we can see many, many layers, and these layers are volcanic ash that was erupted underwater, and when the magma was quenched by the water, it, it kind of fragmented into bits. So we have lots of bits of lava and ash mixed up in these layers going up the cliff. In this area, you can see the kind of fragmented nature of these particles, which is what we call a breccia. Large pieces of very angular um, segments and fragments of lava that was erupted underwater in a very explosive eruption style. In this part of the cliff, we can see that some of these ash layers have been cut across by an overlying layer of very mixed material. And I think this is a, perhaps a, a flow of ash that mobilized on the side of the volcano, flowed down the side of it and kind of cut its way into some of the underlying material to create this little unconformity here. We're going to go a little bit further along the cliff now to show some interesting lavas which you can see here. So we've come to the north end of the beach and you can see these really strange looking shapes in the cliff. And this is lava and it's lava that has erupted underwater to create what we call pillows. And this part of Omaru is really famous for these great examples of pillow lavas. So what's happened is the magma as a liquid, as a hot liquid, has erupted onto the ocean floor and the cold water has quickly chilled the outside of a blob of magma. And that's what you see here, a glassy, dark-coloured outer surface of the pillow. But inside, the lava is still molten, so it's taking a bit longer to crystallise and solidify. And so it's a little bit coarser. The crystals have had a little bit more time to form compared to the very rapidly chilled outside edge of the pillow. So this is a pillow that would have erupted onto the ocean floor and then another one would have erupted above it and another and another. So we see them piled up like this on the cliff here. Between some of the pillows we can see little areas of limestone or sediment that has been baked by this hot lava erupting right next to it. There's a complete pillow. There's some sedimentary rock that's baked between this pillow and the next one, and the one over here. 